In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Vape Guardian Android app. Around the time you receive your sensor from us, you will also receive an email with your login information and setup instructions. Next, you'll need to download the Vape Guardian app from the Google Play Store. Open the app and use the login information from our email to sign in. First, we're going to add your sensor. Before beginning, make sure your Android device is connected to the Wi-Fi that you want the sensor to be connected to, and that the Wi-Fi is 2.4 GHz. Please also make sure that the sensor is powered on and within 6 feet of where you are. Now, hit the plus symbol in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Here, the name of the Wi-Fi network you are connected to will appear. Just below, you will need to enter the network's password. Then, hit Next. The app will now communicate with the sensor to share the network's connectivity information, allowing the sensor to be added to your network. When the sensor is connected, you'll be taken back to the home screen. The sensor may show as offline for a moment or so, but after a few seconds, it will show as online. Next, you need to create a room and add your sensor to it. Tap on the Rooms tab at the bottom of the screen. Hit the plus symbol on the upper left corner of your screen. Now, simply enter the name of the room and then tap the Select Device box. You will now see a list of all sensors that have been added to your account. Select the desired sensor, tap OK, and add room. You're now ready to start detecting vaping. Next up, as the account manager, you may wish to add some staff. To do this, tap the Staff button. Once again, tap the plus button in the top left-hand corner of the screen. This is where you can create each user's profile. Pick a username and password for them. Below the password, you will see a box labeled Method. This is the desired notification type for the member of staff. Don't worry, once they log in, they can change this at any point. Now, the newly added member of staff will receive an email with the username, password, and links to where to download the app. Next is the Alerts screen. In here, you can see all past alerts. Finally, under Profile, you can edit your own profile. Under Change Profile, you can change your password, name, phone number, and notification type. 